building a marble clock that shows seconds? Not as easy as it seems. And there is something that is making it astronomically more time consuming. Every time that I make a test, I end up with a huge pile of mixed marbles that then I need to sort because I need to put them in order back in the clock. And doing it manually takes a lot of time. I consider many options to make this task less inconvenient. Throwing the marbles away and buying new ones may sound like a reasonable option, but it, it gets expensive real quick and I need to make new black marbles every time, which basically kills the advantage of this option. I've also tried black magic, By the power of but as you can see, not only does it not work, I also have a sudden crave for breadcrumbs. Although I know where the north is, so 50-50, it's over there. You know, no bad ideas on a brainstorm, but it seems that all of you have another one very, very precise and defined idea. So let's build a sorting machine. And to build a sorting machine, the first thing that I'd like to do is to have all the marbles in a row very well organized. And for that, I will put all the marbles first in a bucket and then I will grab them mechanically using an elevator chain. And I know that 3D printed chains are cool and all, but I don't want to be screwing 50 links one by one. So I summoned the power of Blazy and designed a new chain in Fusion that can be printed in place. I printed the chain on the Prusa XL that allows me to print with up to five different materials at once. For the chain links, I used Polymakers Polyterra Charcoal Black and for the supports, I used Polymakers Polydissolve that can be dissolved in water. This allows for very tight tolerances because I can use supports inside the links articulations and then remove them just by dipping the chain in water. And just like that, by the power of Lazy, we have a chain that works. Now I will use this beefy NEMA 23 motor to move the chain and we are ready to see if this works. And with that, the part of having all the marbles in line is completed. Now we need to get them in an organized way. Using these slits in here and this sensor, I can position each link exactly what I want. And with this infrared sensor in here, I know which marble is on each link. So there you have it, in line and organized. So logically now it's time for the actual marble selection. I've installed a servo on the path of the marbles and with the information of the infrared sensor I should be able to reject one of the two kinds of marbles. So let's give it a go. totally works, but it's a little bit uh, slow and, and we are in this to save some time. So let's see if I can make it go a little bit faster. The first thing that I've done is make the servo movement shorter so it takes less time. And now I will increase the motor speed gradually to see how far we can go. To make the stepper go faster, I had to increase the current on the driver and it's getting quite hot, maybe too hot. I managed to save the motor bracket by adding a couple of spacers between the motor and the bracket, but the shaft gets hot enough that the gear is slipping on the shaft. But thanks to PCBWay, I have the perfect solution. I just went to PCBWay.com and uploaded the file, checked that everything was okay, chose the amount and the right material, in this case, aluminium, although you can choose from a wide range of materials like nylon, titanium, or tool steel. And the part got here in no time. PCBWay not only does provide 3D printing services, they also do CNC machining, injection molding, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. 
as you can see, the process is super easy and the quality of the parts is top notch. So give PCBWay a try following the link in the description. And now let's ramp up the speed. It looks like we don't have an issue with torque anymore. <laughs> I think I found where the chain got stuck and fixed it, but I think I found the downside of printing place chains. Once they break, they are broken. In this chain design, I made the pins on the chain links conical, which is great when you need to assemble and disassemble the chain, and that's what I was thinking. Big mistake because it also makes it easier to just break. So I redesigned the chain with pins and holes, and now it can only be opened by breaking it. So let's make it go faster and see what breaks next. We've reached the limit of what can be done with the servo because it cannot get out of the way fast enough and we need to stop every time we reject a marble. So I'm going to try next with our trusty old friend, the solenoid, and see if we can do the entire process without stopping the chain or, or everything breaks. We'll see whatever happens first. <laughs> It seems that I'm losing steps on the motor because I'm trying to spin it too fast. So I will swap the gear on the belt for a smaller one to keep going faster because six marbles per second is not enough. I will not stop here. By the way, this year I will be attending Open Source in San Francisco the 15th and 16th of June. If you see me there, please come and say hello. And if you have something crazy like this, Apply for an exhibit, the deadline is coming very soon, but I would love to see it. And now, let's see how fast we can go with this. All right, that's better, 11 marbles per second. But it, it took a little bit of an extra effort. Not only did I have to change the gear ratio, do you remember what I said earlier that I didn't want to be screwing 53 printed links one by one? Yep, here we are, 48 3D printed links screwed one by one. At least they aren't 50, just 48. Let's just say that I've lost a, a few chains in the pursuit of speed, and that definitely screws are, are stronger. Are stronger. And don't you dare to think that this new chain didn't come with its new set of issues. The screws made the chain a little bit wider, and it kept getting caught everywhere. So I had to disassemble and reassemble everything, like file here and there, but it is evidently now faster. And I think that we can make it even faster. Fourteen point eight marbles per second, and I think that there is still some room for speed. Not, not that I'm seeing anything. For me, it's just a blur. But the slow mo shot tells me that the solenoid has still some room for retraction there. Nineteen point eight marbles per second, but I think we've reached the limit of what we can do with this solenoid here. But I think at this point, almost twenty marbles per second is quite impressive, 
and it empties the entire bucket in less than 15 seconds. And this puts quite a show doing it. So I'm quite happy with the end result. Now I have a question. The clock needs about 17 marbles per second sorted to work. Should I put this into the clock to sort the marbles? It already does the required amount of noise and it's, I think, absurd enough, so I think it qualifies. So, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, thanks a lot to all my Patreons and members. Thank you. And now please go and make something!